and welcome to our classroom. Today, we're going to be doing a science lesson. We're going to be conducting a science experiment. And our science experiment is going to be about chemical reactions. Do that with me and say it with me. Chemical reactions. Now you're probably thinking, Zotero, what is a chemical reaction? I'm glad you asked. A chemical reaction is when you take two substances, you mix them together, and a chemical change happens, like a gas is produced or there's a temperature change. That's what we're gonna do right here. Our chemical reaction is going to be producing a gas and have a temperature change. So, these are the materials you're going to need. You are going to need one packet of yeast, it doesn't matter the brand, one spoon, an empty container, a plastic bottle, this is an empty cinnamon container, hydrogen peroxide, and dish soap. The dish soap does not have to be green. Some extra materials you're gonna need, if you'd like, is some food coloring. I'm choosing green. And to measure, you are going to need 10 milliliters and 20 milliliters. These are the cups that you get in your liquid medicine to measure how much medicine that you need to take. And that's it. Let's get started. I'm gonna move all of the materials I don't need right now. So I have these two, my plastic bottle and my plastic container. You're gonna put your bottle in your container. Next, you're gonna grab your hydrogen peroxide and measure out 20 milliliters. Then you're gonna grab your food coloring. I'm getting green. Squeeze in a little bit. And then with your plastic spoon, go ahead and mix it up. Then pour it into your plastic bottle. Now get your dish soap. Remember, 10 milliliters. When you're done measuring, pour it into your plastic bottle again. Now comes the fun part, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This first time I'm doing the experiment is actually a mistake. When I put in my yeast, there is going to be a chemical reaction, but not a big one. So open up your yeast, and you're gonna pour it into your plastic bottle. Now as I'm pouring it, I'm being very careful to put the container far from me. Mix it around, and like I said, there was something happening, but it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. So guess what? I read the instructions again, and I made a mistake. I was actually supposed to put in more yeast. One packet of yeast is normally just 2.5, so I need to get three more so that it could be one ounce. So I'm gonna do it again. So you're gonna keep your plastic bottle in your plastic container. Measure out your hydrogen peroxide, remember 20 milliliters. Then you're going to add your food coloring of choice and you're going to mix it in. Once it's mixed, you can go ahead and pour it into your plastic bottle. Next, you're gonna grab your dish soap. Again, remember, you are going to measure out 10 milliliters of your dish soap. Pour it in, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the hydrogen peroxide and dish soap before I add the yeast. That way, this is mixed up well. Now, I'm going to pre-open all of my yeast packets because the chemical reaction is going to happen quickly. So you're gonna gather one ounce, or in my case, four packets of yeast pre-opened so that I can pour one in after the other. So here goes one, 
There goes two, here goes three, and lastly, here goes four. Like I said, it happens quickly, so mix it up as quickly as you can, and right away, there's more foam, and I'm feeling the bottom of the container, and it is getting warmer. Like we said, there is going to be that chemical change, and you're gonna see now that there are bubbles. All of those bubbles are making a gas, and it actually turned into a solid as well. Well, that's it for our science lesson today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, because my container is really, really tall, it wasn't overflowing, and I really didn't need the container, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. And I still can feel the chemical change that's happening. I was able to feel that the temperature got hotter and it's still pretty warm right now. We were also able to see a chemical change in the gas that was being released. The gas were those bubbles. All of those bubbles were letting out gas. And now it also changed into a solid. It's not a liquid anymore. <laughs> All right, friends, have a great day. And as always, I wish you well. Bye.